Good morning once again. You are welcome to day two of our session of training in um, content development for uh, virtual labs that we're going to create. And I am excited that um, you have been able to make it in spite of the rain. So thank you very much. So going through the program very quickly, um, I already did explain the first part of this program. Where I'm going to start, I'm going to start with a recap, a recap of what we did. This recap is essential just to be able to understand that we picked uh, things that we discussed yesterday. After that, we'll go to, uh, I'll further expound on animations, the kind of instructions that you need to write uh, with specific examples. Uh, we will look at... Um, a subject matter expert who is going to come and talk to you about the experience in doing this already. Some people that I have worked with for quite a, a bit of time. So they will come and explain to you. Then, a very important session, a continuation from yesterday. We started um, a session on how you work with animators. That was yesterday. And the, the workflow. Yesterday it was workflow. Well, how is the workflow like? from where you start, how you hand over, what you hand over, and then the other side. Today we are delving deeper into what we call a storyboard. So the storyboard uh, expert is also here with us this morning. He's going to tell you uh, what he expects uh, from you, what he will do with what he gets from you, and how you are going to work together in this assignment. So this is an activity that... Uh, Hopefully, we'll take us up to about 11.30. Then at 11.30, the big thing that I want to expect from you is activity. We're going to put all the knowledge that we have gained up to this moment into practice. So one topic from what you started yesterday, expand it. If you picked a very small one, you could now be, pick a bigger one because you're going to have about one hour to really work on this, to improve your animation instructions, to improve your voiceover instructions, to improve um, the alternative text, because we, we need alternative text also for those who may not be able to, to hear. If it's a voiceover instruction, then there must be alternative text. So this is an activity we will get involved in. And then um, we'll do some feedback, hopefully up to lunchtime. If we are, time is not sufficient, I have given us more time after lunch for feedback. And then uh, thereafter, again, the issue of next steps. After we have um, understood, what is the next step when you go back? Um, so the next steps are very, very important. So I will, we will discuss that. Again, my expert for animation will also be giving her next steps. And then um, she's called Jennifer. Uh, she will be here shortly and then we, we will discuss our own next steps with you, the specific timelines we expect, because this, this thing is, as John talked yesterday, is time sensitive. So we have, by a certain date, there is, um, we require a certain output and we require a measurement of numbers. How many are going to be um, interacting with the content that you have created? And then... We get feedback from them, it comes back to us, we see how to improve because the user experience is very important. So we may need to improve something. So these are, that's why we are only doing two courses to start with and thereafter we can expand. I think the expansion is possible. So those are the next steps. And uh, hopefully by a quarter past four, we should be able to uh, get out of here with a clear picture of what we need to do from here for the next two or so months. So that's, that's briefly uh, how our program is going to run. Mm -hmm.